Gary, Gary the ghost. I wish they were all that size. Yeah, biggest today that one, by far. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is a brand new competition for 2024. I'm here at Lindome Lakes and that's because this is where the first round of the first ever on the fly TV feeder championships is actually going to take place. It's a four round competition. There are two rounds here at Lindome. There's another one at Hallcroft and there is also one at Boston Lakes. And a cupcake from Tony. <laughs> Right then lads, obviously the first round today of the uh, shh, new uh, feeder champs, absolutely I made up for it, I've got to give it to Alex, it was Alex's idea, but obviously it's the on the flyer TV feeder champs here at the first round, Lindo. Jamie, morning mate, are you feeling up for it? Too early, you're going too early. You reckon? Yeah. Next Check out my hand out now. Yeah. I'm in, I can't, I'm in, I'm in. Strap in. 14 what about florals. Do you have any cakes out? So, Laurel's 14. I've got a feeling it might be close to where I was on the three-dayer here back in about October last year. I think I've got an island um, to fish to, and then obviously I'll find out how close other anglers are to me and stuff, which can make a massive difference on this sort of a venue. So I'm gonna get the barrel loaded up, and I'll see you up at the peg. 14, there we go. You see that? Well, I like the look of that, I'll be honest. On the middle of the bank, as you can see, virtually i've got an island to my right now the next angler there i think is uh vinnie so that looks like that's the next angler which is ideal because it means that all this this uh back side of this island here uh, is my water i've obviously got a point there i can't go to that point but i've got a point there that i can go around i've got open water i'm hoping i've got a nice long margin i'm assuming there won't be anybody on 13 and what can often be the case is the back edge of that island I believe is mine as well so I'm gonna get set up and I'll uh, while I'm setting up I'll just be thinking about how I'm, uh, how I'm gonna tackle it I can't believe how much room we've got I was hoping to have this much room and it's literally just gonna be like pleasure fishing which is you know it's great when you've got fisheries like this that can free up whole lakes for smaller numbers you know it gives you loads of room I've got Mark Miller here He's to my left, he's the only angler going down into this corner. There's myself here, middle of the bank. And then we've got Vinny, and then there's two more anglers down there. So we're really well spaced out. We've actually got the Edge Boys here today. Here he is. Rob one, Lee Kerry. There he is. How are you, mate? If you're into your subscription channels with the in-depth stuff, check out the Edge with these boys. Yeah, that's what nice. we're doing today, a live yeah. match. You're, okay. you're on the box. I'm on the box. Lee's Good. coaching. Good luck, lads. I'm going to keep topping that line up, this, this short line. So, quite a bit of corn there, as you can see. I'm just gonna cap that off. The consistency of this should just hold. And I can obviously put that in a, in a feeder when I decide to go on it to fish it. I'm gonna feed that just there. See where that is in line with, uh, with that platform. When I do go on that, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna be clipped up on it. I'm not clipped up on this line. I've got the drag undone. Well, when I say I'm not clipped up, this rod is actually clipped up, but it's clipped up for that island out there in front of me at 36 meters. So I'm just gonna kick off there. Well, I've had three casts now. Interestingly, the first two were about two meters off that actual island, and I never had a single indication, nothing at all. I've just gone about a meter off that island now, which seen slightly shallower water and I am getting the odd little indication so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave exactly the same feeder on again it's this 20 gram intersize open method feeder yellow yellow uh, wafter on there and I'm going to have a first cast to the back of that island where I mean there's more there's more ripple it over there and I have seen fish moving out there whilst I was setting up Just see if we can pick one up from there. Well, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we've been fishing 40 minutes, and this is my first bite. I cannot believe it. I've only seen one fish caught, and that's Mark on my left. He's a carp that looks about four pound, and we've hooked one. 
I can't, just can't believe how slow it is at the minute. So we're off the mark anyway. But there we go, we're off the mark. Well, I honestly thought I was going to get another fish on that second second cast after the fish, and I, I just didn't didn't get a single sign. I'm amazed how slow it is. I've just seen Vinny on my right catch a fish, and I've just seen Rob Button down on peg two catch a fish. That's only been there, only been there two minutes, and I've just had a really slow pull round. That's a just a small F1. So we are 90 minutes in. I've had three casts over to the island and I haven't had a single indication. I've just, all I've just done is, I've just had a cast in the middle. You see where the wind's hitting it? See one or two better fish moving there, but I've just dropped this right in the middle, halfway between myself and the, uh, and the island, unclipped. It's a heavier fish, that one. It's still only fish number three. So this has been in three minutes and this and this is the sixth the sixth four minute cast. Gary, Gary the ghost. I wish they were all that size. Yeah, biggest today that one, by far. What I decided to do about 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago maybe, 20 minutes, half an hour. I fed the line straight in front of me at about six meters with pellets. My, just fed it with my um, with my uh, method feeder, the open method feeder. And I've just switched rods and just had my first drop in on that new line. And this has been out there, it's been there two and a half minutes. And, uh, and I've hooked one and it feels like a good fish as well. Really encouraging. That's a brilliant fish to get that one. Really, really, really pleased to get that one, especially on that line as well. Well, this has been out there five and a half minutes. This is that first cast. Having set set it up and having a five minute chuck. If nothing else, it's certainly helping the uh, confidence levels. Well, we're into about the last three minutes or so. I cannot believe that I haven't caught anything in that last 30 minutes. I don't really know how I'm doing in this section at all. I don't think it's going to be enough for a section, you know, first or second or anything like that. I've just got a funny feeling that that, that last hour is going to cost me, but... That's it. That last hour. That last hour. I've had way too many quiet spells. And I think the average stamp on my fish haven't been big enough. I don't know why that is, but that's what it is. I can't do anything about it now, can I? Yeah, definitely didn't expect it to be hard as well. Not for the full match, can you? Feel a bit mixed, mixed emotions about it to be honest. Um, so to cut long story short, I've ended up weighing 32 pounds, which I, I never even tried to guess my weight, but I think that's a little bit more than what I thought I'd got. Obviously, a couple of those fish were a better stamp. Mark's done absolutely brilliant at the next peg. That late fish, what he had in the last few minutes, last five minutes, uh, he says it was nearly 15 pounds, uh, and that's boosted his weight up to 40 pounds. So he's done absolutely fantastic. And the section's actually been won by one of the anglers I couldn't see. Over there, I mean, that is a peg I fished. Uh, I think it's is it peg 40, I think it is. That's Joe, he's had 69 pound, I think he has. So he's won the section. Mark's ended up second with 40 pound. And my 32 pounds actually put me third um, in, in, in the section. So not a complete disaster. Obviously I would have preferred first or second, like I said earlier. Uh, but obviously, you know, if I go and get three section wins now, then, you know, I could frame at the end of the league. So, um, hope you've enjoyed this insight into this live match. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I'll put the full result up for you, and I look forward to checking in with you for round two.